Well, an unusual sight here in Central Texas. Rain. A lot of places have seen showers so far today, and it looks like more are on the way. A lot of people are hoping for more. Jim Spencer has been tracking this slow-moving system, and he joins us from the First Morning Weather Center. Jim. I didn't realize how bored we had become <laughs> yeah. in the Weather Center until today. We have had fun tracking rain and individual thunderstorm cells across the area. The good news is there's no severe weather out there. This is exactly how we would hope that the rainfall would come. A gentle sometimes heavy rainfall in some areas, but not associated with large hail or damaging winds or a tornado threat. So far, no flash flooding, but I have to tell you that where you see these red areas there, it's very heavy rainfall falling in a short period of time. In fact, we've had a report out at Horseshoe Bay, uh, just to the west of the Marble Falls area, that four and a half inches of rain fell there in less than two hours. We have numerous rain gauge reports coming in now from around Marble Falls all the way down to near Johnson City of between two and four inches of rainfall. Now that can cause some minor flooding of low water crossings and streams and creeks. There are urban and small stream flood advisories in effect for those areas right now. So be very careful. There are a lot of low water crossings out here in the hill country. That's for sure. This activity will continue to spread eastward into the metro area tonight. Then we'll have more rain in the forecast for tomorrow. Saturday too. We have a lot to talk about coming up in first warning weather. One of the best things about this rainy weather, the temperatures. Look at there. After 99 yesterday, we weren't out of the 80s today. May not get above the low 80s tomorrow. Your first warning forecast is coming up.